What's up, Boatbreaker family and cruise goers? My name is Pete. I'll be taking you on a tour of this wonderful ship, the Carnival Vista. I hope you're having a beautiful day because it's about to get a lot better. As always on the Boatbreaker channel, every tour we do, we do a giveaway. And this tour is no different. We're doing two $50 Amazon gift cards. All you have to do to enter is like the video and comment on the video. Now let's get into the tour. Now we are going to start up high on deck 15. As you can already see, we are in the Serenity area. That's the only thing on deck 15 worth showing for this tour. So again, if you're not familiar with Carnival, the Serenity area is adults only area for adults. So if you want to get away from those pesky kids, you want to get away from your own kids for a little bit. Come over to the Serenity area, grab yourself a cocktail from the Serenity bar and just enjoy yourself and enjoy some peace. Again, if you want to get away from kids and you want to hop into a jacuzzi, there's two jacuzzis in the Serenity area on both sides of the ship. So you grab yourself a drink and go ahead and head over to the jacuzzi. I was able to find a spot in the jacuzzi every time I went. So it's a little secret. They're not always full. And up here on the left, sitting in front of this jacuzzi is Fresh Creation Salad Bar, which is only open on sea days. All right, moving on to deck 12. This is a rather large deck with a lot going on, a very action-packed deck. We're going to start over here in the spa center, which includes a couple other areas. The fitness center, the men's and ladies' locker rooms with independent saunas in there. We have a relaxed room. We have thermal suites with a spa. And then we have the Cloud9 spa treatment rooms with the VIP areas, which you know I didn't have access to because I go on these cruises broke. Now, this area of the fitness center usually is a lot smaller on ships, so I did appreciate all this, all these treadmills and all these bikes uh, with a nice view, so you'll be able to get those miles in very, very easily. Right, coming back past the elevators outside of the spa area, we have Carnival Waterworks, which is Carnival's water park. This is where you go with the kids or you drop the kids off, or if you're an adventurous adult like myself, you get on those slides yourself, you get those wedgies yourself, and here's where all the action happens. You definitely got to try it. I definitely recommend having a little drink or two before you go on there because it does get a little intimidating the higher you get up. But obviously not to the kids. They do it four or five times with ease. Doesn't matter to them. And if we make our way past all these chairs that are usually filled on a sea day, we have the sports area. They call this the Sky Track. And this is the clubhouse area with the mini golf and the adventure course up top. I went on the adventure course. It was, it was fun. It's kind of a one and done. Um, I did see a kid crying up there, so I felt pretty bad. Um, didn't seem like he wanted to move. So there's that. So if, if your child is afraid of heights, maybe that's not such a good look. But if we continue our way down the sky track, we head over to one of my favorite parts of a carnival cruise, the basketball court. So they do dodgeball here, they do volleyball, they do soccer, they do basketball knockout tournaments, and then they have seating right there, and it's a really fun time, so I definitely recommend trying that out. If you're interested, on the Carnival Vista, I tried tipping every worker on the ship. I came out of my comfort zone and tried to tip these workers because they make our cruises so special. Jobert, go ahead. Come on, Jobert. 30. <laughs> I only have 40. I only have 40. Oh, thank you. No problem. So if you're interested and you really want to support the channel, please check out that video. Link is in the description. All right, moving on to Deck 11. We don't have much going on Deck 11 except one of my favorite places to eat, Cucino del Capitano. They had a... Build your own pasta lunch. Definitely check it out, but you got to get there early or you're going to have to wait. And then on the other side, to the left right here as I'm showing you, there's the GG Asian Kitchen. Unfortunately, that was always packed. I didn't get a chance to get in there and try the lunch. But like I said, if you get a chance, try the Cucino del Capitano. Build your own pasta because it's very, very worth it in my opinion. Throw some mushrooms in there. Do something dangerous. Live outside your comfort zone and try it out. We also have Camp Ocean and the Clubhouse entrance on Deck 11 midship. Now, moving on, down one deck to Deck 10. Everyone's favorite deck, the Lido Deck. 
All right, right in front of us sitting is the wonderful Tides Bar. Go grab a drink. Go head back to the Tides Pool, which is right in front of it. Or if that's not your cup of tea, you have two jacuzzis on either side. Coming out to the right, though, we have Pizzeria del Capitano. This is where they serve your personal pies, pepperoni, or whatever you like. And just to mention, they are open up late. So these are one of the few places that are open late. So if you come stumbling out of the club at 2 a.m., this is where you're going to find everybody else grabbing a bite of pizza. And if you come over to the left side of the Tides Bar, you will see the Seafood Shack. Now, Seafood Shack is pretty good. I would definitely recommend trying the lobster roll if you like lobster or you like seafood. And they also have plenty of other options a la carte. So if that's something you want to do, they are open on sea days. And smush between Seafood Shack and the elevator lobby, you have a men's and ladies' bathroom. Heading back through the elevator lobby, back into the midship area, we have the Lido Marketplace. And if you're not familiar, the Carnival Lido Marketplace buffet is a dining area found on all Carnival ships. It's a casual dining area, usually found on the Lido deck, which is why it's called the Lido Marketplace. It offers a variety of food options, including international cuisine, salad, sandwich, burgers, pizzas, desserts, and more. It's open for breakfast lunch and dinner providing passengers with convenient and casual dining experiences throughout the day we are going to do a more in-depth review for the carnival vista so stay tuned for that heading outside to the main lido area where all the action happens smack right in front of us we have the infamous guy burger joint this is guy fury's smash burger joint if you're not familiar with carnival this is a staple for carnival i get on this cruise i have about five burgers and about 20 things of fries just because I'm bored and I'm cruising, I'm on vacation. Anyways, heading back over here past a men's and ladies' bathroom, we have the Blue Iguana Cantina, which is a dining spot on all Carnival cruise ships known for its freshly made Mexican cuisine. It offers items like tacos, burritos, quesadillas, along with a variety of salsas and toppings from the toppings bar. It's a popular choice for passengers that seek quick, flavorful meals from the Mexican cuisine. And if we continue forward and we head over here, we will see the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. If you're a tequila drinker like myself, this is where you're going to be hanging out. Trust me, it takes a while to get a drink, but I always think it's worth it. There's always some music playing. The Lido Deck is a great place to come and hang out. And on the other side, we have the Red Frog Rum Bar. If rum is more your thing, you head right over there to the rum bar and you get yourself a nice, nice cocktail. I like to call this deck the super fun deck, deck seven. It seems like they just smashed a bunch of fun kids things to do on this deck right when you get out of the elevator. So speaking of elevator, right to your right, you have the wonderful IMAX theater, which takes over three levels of the midship on the Carnival Vista. We had Dune, we had Madam Web. You can come here on a rainy day, grab yourself a popcorn, grab yourself a soda. I did not get a chance to check it out on this ship, but I did love it on the Carnival Horizon, which is the other ship that has it. So if you're not familiar, Carnival Cruise Line offers Circle C for younger cruisers aged 12 to 14, providing a dedicated space for them to socialize, participate in activities, and so on, make new friends, right? Additionally, for teens aged 15 to 17, there's Club O2, which is over here on the other side, right next to each other. And both clubs offer age-appropriate activities, events, and entertainment designed to keep teens engaged and entertained throughout their cruise vacation so you don't have to worry about it. Heading out here, we have some more fun kid stuff. We have the arcade. Now, I hate to admit it, but I was in the arcade quite a bit. There was a punching machine and there were some VR machines, so... Definitely check out the arcade if you're into that. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend you drop a like and a comment on this video so you're entered into the giveaway to win one of the two $50 Amazon gift cards. Heading over to Deck 5, the beautiful Deck 5 we have here, the wonderful atrium, the top level of the atrium with all these beautiful digital displays and the bar. Now, if you've never been on a carnival ship, you know the atrium. They throw parties. They throw 70s, 80s parties, live music here all the time. So it's always jamming over here. We have a bunch of fun shops over here for jewelry and such. Um, you can pick up souvenirs, whatever you need. Carnival shops, whatever you need, they got over here. 
Up here on the left, we have the infamous Piano Bar 88, where you could just get down, sing some tunes, do a little bit of karaoke style singing. And to the right, we have the library where it is fitted with a few games. You can grab some cards. If you don't really feel like being out in the sun and you want to just hang out with some friends or family, you can grab a board game and have some fun in there. Now, to the right, we have my favorite, my absolute favorite specialty restaurant, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Shout out to the Cowboy Steak. My second favorite restaurant is Bunzai Sushi. I went here for lunch about three or four times and got some sushi. Very, very good sushi. I'd say the best out of all the cruise lines. And the infamous Alchemy Bar. This is a bar where they take how you're feeling, your mood and such, and they make a drink based on your flavor profile. Heading down here past the photo pixel gallery art where you can buy some of your photos, we have the Red Fog Pub and Brewery. I just want to say they have Latin night in here. They have live music. They do dance lessons. You can grab a bite. You can grab some drinks. There's a bar in there. It's a very, very good time. I highly recommend checking out. There's always an event happening in there. And if we can continue through, we see the first of our coffee shops, the Java Blue Cafe. And up here on the right is the Ocean Plaza. I'd like to mention about the coffee shop, Java Blue Cafe. There's always a very, very long line and there's only one person working. So a trick that I was doing, the Plaza Bar right here um, that you see on the left, they also serve most coffee beverages. So definitely take advantage of that. And Ocean Plaza, again, is here where they have game shows. They have a lot going on here for kids. They have giant Jenga. They have kids games. They have trivia. This was a Harry Potter trivia, which I don't know too much about, even though I watched all the movies. And moving along here is a little hidden area they like to call the Havana Bar. This is exclusive area to the Havana guests. You can go through this bar, hang out here, but you can't go outside without having the VIP bracelets that they give you. There's a little chill jazz area spot. They got a piano here or in a live band. It's a really fun time. You can hang out here. There's a bar on the inside. And then, like I said before, you need special VIP access for out here. But you know me. I tried taking a peek. Look, I didn't step foot outside, so I didn't get in trouble. But... Here's the view that I got for the exclusive area with their own pool and their own jacuzzis. If you got the money, definitely do it. If not, hang with me. Deck four, one of my favorite decks, a very nice deck. Coming out of the elevator lobby, we're going to head right. If you head left, it will be the top of the MDR restaurant. Right here to the left, as I zoom past it, it's the Limelight Lounge, which hosts comedians and your makeshift club at nighttime to get your dance on. Here on the left next, we have the Heroes Tribute Bar, which is pretty much your sports bar. You can watch literally any game going on, grab yourself a beer, you can grab yourself some potato chips. This place is always packed, especially when there's a nice basketball or football game going on. It's a really cool place to just hang out. Also, the AC is really nice in there. Speeding our way through this hallway, I didn't want to get in the way of these engineers and these maintenance, so I went around here. This is obviously your casino. Now, this casino is... Like every other carnival ship, it is closed while in port. It's open late. You can get your drinks on. You got blackjack. You got roulette. You got everything that you need inside of a casino. So don't worry. They can take your money here if you want to give it away. I mean, if you're feeling lucky, you can win some, but that's not usually the case for me. Coming back out here to the atrium on deck four, we got a lot going on over here as I pan to the left to show you. But more importantly, as I pan to the right, there's a little special treat right here. We got the candy shop. I think it's called the Cherry on Top. It's a candy shop where you go in there and you weigh your candy. And we have some more fun shops over here on the right. And on the left is where the live band will play to the atrium. And if we come down this little hallway right here, we have the beautiful, beautiful Liquid Lounge. This is where all the shows go on. This is where... You can see the Love and Marriage show. You could do bingo in here. This place always has something going on. And I definitely, definitely think you will be here more than once doing, checking out shows, doing other things. Um, it's a great place. And it's very nice compared to some of the other carnival ships. They did a really good job on 
adding lighting and making the seats very comfortable. And there's actually enough seats for everybody. I know sometimes you go watch a show and you don't have enough seats, but yeah, this is it. They have a bar right here. Our last and final deck, deck three. I'm so sad that this is the last deck, but let's check it out. Coming out here, this is the lower of your atrium. It's called the Vista Lobby and Bar, along with the dance floor to the right. And we have beautiful views. Like I said before, they do a lot of events over here. They'll do the 80s night. They'll do the white party. And they'll move stuff into here if it's raining outside to accommodate. Right there is the balcony for the live band. And again, we have beautiful digital displays. There's always something different on each display. Sometimes they have fire. You saw flowers right there. Okay, moving along. Up here on the left, if you like to make any complaints, you have the wonderful guest service. I really do applaud these people. They uh, deal with people complaining all the time, and I think it just stinks. But you know what? They're here for us, and no matter how long that line is, you got to get in there and you got to take care of it. And that's pretty much it, folks. You have the restaurant right here on the right, and... That's about it on deck three. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to comment to be entered in to win that gift card. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Pete and I'll see you guys in the next one.